Hey guys, on this video I'm going to teach you how to customize your waybar and also how to add a other waybar into the hyperland. Now this is, this tutorial is only for those who have installed the hyperland that's that I have shared. Now I got a queries a lot of times before how to edit because right now for example what they do is they are changing these two files this config and that styles so for example here when you open they try to change here let's say I want to remove this That's the tray. Oh, of course, it don't work because we have to That's a bad example. <laughs> Let's say I want to remove this, the workspaces. So now the workspaces is gone. And then when they try to change again, uh, or after reboot it goes back now there's a lot of queries that I have been asked a lot of times now I just want to remind that these two files they are just sim link into the configs in here on the configs folder and also on the style folder so accordingly they are just sim linking so if you launch the the menu for example um, Let's say you want to change now the way bar to this. Then it, it automatically just seem link to uh, whichever it is. So that's the idea. So if you want to change, for example, you need to go to, let's say now, um, by default, this is the for the laptop. If you want to customize this, then you go into the configs and that's the version 2 need to edit this I would suggest to like copy it first let's say rename it to your own so now you have it here let's just move it to let's say one so here one own now you edit this as you require so for example you don't want the you want to move around for example the you want to get rid of the let's say the way bar or the, let's say the the what do you call this the kaba you want to get rid so you just need to delete it and let's say you want to get rid of uh, this informations like for example here the group motherboard then you refresh super alt r now it's all gone no sorry it's not loaded it's not loaded yet still on one so now you choose that configs that you have edited so now it's gone here and also it's gone there so that's how you chains into your own so i would suggest to rename it make a copy and rename it and then load it and then also of course all these modules for example here see it's included on these modules most of the configs they are looking into these modules here now this is a very long list and then also of course um uh, the waybar wiki is there and it's, it's once you got used to it it's actually really easy you can easily figure out by yourself after that so that's one way so it's, let's say here you want to get rid of the network speed now if you reload then it's gone in there okay now whenever I load something again then once you go back then 
it's there again it will always be there okay same with the styles for example uh, you want to uh, you want to tailor it as per your liking then let's say you make copy of one let's just say the this monochrome let's just say black monochrome and then you rename it again one own style so once you let's say edited it here you change something let's just say here a uh, tooltip let's say blue for example that's the own style now you load this own style tooltip now become blue yeah that's the background color it didn't really change mm, this is bad ah here tooltip level label blue reload again see now it changes okay it's a tooltip label so again all this this is a very in-depth I don't want to really go in-depth in here because the video will just take long time now let's say you found you're browsing the Unix porn, for example, and you found a really good waybar that you like. So let's say in here, Hyperlan uh, Plasma. Here, for example, here. This is now just newly posted 17 hours ago. Most of the guys in here on the Unix porn, they are sharing their that files, which is really great because then you can learn from it we can copy it I mean we can copy that's the reason why they are sharing it correct <laughs> so you go in there and then you see their that file so here he or she Palin maybe a woman so now she shared this one and then you go into config and then of course the way bar there you go so there is two now this is very easy to integrate into the system or oh, header mason so it's a woman hi header <laughs> um, so now you want now you can easily download these two files only so let's say here download it and then put it to your this is config so put it to your dot config waybar configs and then you can just rename this for a while I'll just put it one so it will be easier to see header config and then go back and take her style ZSS also and then put it to your style then again one header okay now it's loaded there so now we load that waybar so going back to the menu for example the config is super alt v here you go and it should load and then you want to load her style super control v bravo header style and there you go now you got her and it's already also integrated into the way bar so it's really easy but one thing though is of course some of the way bars the guys who are sharing on the U unix porn they are sometimes complicated for example there are like a lot of files uh, let's just take one for example maybe this uh, this one looks like mine before <laughs> let me see wallpaper op oh, there's no share didn't share the way bar so let's find one more for nix os uh, that's really it's a little bit different for nix os this one have no bar this is gnome 
this way. Now, for example, this D. You want to copy this way bar. Now again, go into their that files. Team hyper dots. Now, for example, oh, I know this screenshot, this way bar. This is Prasantangans. And unfortunately for guys who sharing their dot files like uh, Prasantangan or even Stepan uh, Rave, their waybar is a little bit complicated, so you cannot really integrate that easily in here. On the uh, on the hyperland that's that I have shared. Now you notice that I just paste it and copy. And even if we rename this one, so let's say you rename it. Once you see it, the script automatically choose it. So it's not really that hard. Okay. And then of course you customize it as much as you want. And let's say, does it work? Where's the volume? Oh, it works. Sometimes it doesn't because it's pertaining to a, let's say to a script. And this one is really, really um, easy to integrate. So maybe I will add it into my way bar. So header, where is that? Where is that? No. So Heather Watson, if you're watching, if you can comment, if it's okay for you, that I will add your dots. Oh, by the way, it looks sick. Looks great. Yeah. <coughs> Heather. Yeah, Heather Mason. If you're watching, is it okay for you to, for me to add your very slick and nice way bar? Let me know. Okay, guys. So this is it. If you have any questions, then please do let me know. For those of you who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Okay. Take care now. And see you on the next movie. Video, not movie. Bye.